What's up everybody, welcome to Nerd Spillover, my second channel, and today I'm going to be feeding all my beasties. So, um, since it's Thanksgiving weekend, I'm going to, I got them special, I got my animals some special critters to eat, some crickets, or not crickets, some cockroaches, they normally eat crickets, and uh, I'm going to give them a, a bunch of them, so I've never, I know this one has never eaten cockroaches i'm not sure about this little guy he's new i got him for black friday we'll show him later i know my grandma stole a polka cheese has not had cockroaches but i'm not sure if avicularia avicularia has had them or not so let's start with the lizards and then we'll go to my tarantulas and we'll go smallest to biggest smallest to biggest let's get into it so first up i know it's not a very good cage i need to get him a little water dish and a better floor mat but yeah, first up we're gonna do my brand new little baby leopard gecko. Little tiny guy. I don't know if you'll like him or not, but let's uh, give it a whirl. He's really little. Here's watch, here's my finger. He's really little. Let's, let's give him a feed, see if he'll eat it. All right, let's see if he eats it. off my tongs. He's kind of that way. Oh, he's scared of it, Goofy. Eat it. Eat it. Come on, you can eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Why are you being afraid of it? He's only lived in this thing for one day, so maybe he's just not hungry. And he just ate yesterday, according to Petco, where I got him. So let's get this guy out of here. So this is my leopard gecko. My other one, my older one. Much bigger, see? And he sees the roaches, which I have right here sitting on the floor. So he sees them, so he's ready to eat. Okay. I'm going to try to... I've never tong fed anything before, so. And these are new tongs on top of that. So it's kind of hard for me to get a grab of one of these damn cockroaches, which are super flat, which don't allow for a lot of grabbing. Yeah, I'm just gonna dump some of them in. Let's see if we can watch them. Eat them up. Screwed off, so it doesn't help. Yeah, oh. There's it. You're gonna go down. Get it. Get it. Oh, he missed. He misses quite a lot, actually. I don't know if it's because he's old. He's like four years old, five, six years old. Yeah. I don't want the cockroaches to hide and start breeding in there. Let's take his house out. There's some crickets right in front of you. You want those? They're not moving though. Maybe I can grab a cricket and feed it with the tongs that way. Just so you guys can have something to watch. So at least one animal eats some, some food. Oh. Oh. These things are too fast for him, I think. Yeah. Yeah, 
I didn't know these were too fast for him. I thought he ate them all last time because I saw him catch one or two. So I'm going to try to catch the rest of these and get him fed. That means he hasn't eaten for a whole week. Oh, that was close. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, he got him. You missed it. He got the big one. Got him. Oh, yeah. I was in the light, but he got him. Get it. Yeah. That was a good shot. All right, he's all fed now. That was like a bunch of crickets. Next up we got Grandma Stola Polka Peas, Choco Golden Knee, uh, Spiderling, Juvenile I guess, and a cockroach. I'm gonna poke it on the butt. in there anymore. Oh, oh. Here we go. Scared away. Oh, you made a hide. That's cool. That's new. That little hole for. This is a leg. Oh, the cockroach is climbing the wrong way. Get eaten, please. All right, I fashioned a tickle thing. So hopefully, this tickle thing will get it going the opposite. Of oh, there's web in there, too. Go the other way. It's just frozen. Oh. All right, spider, get it. Go in there. Got it.
Good shot. That was cool. All right, we'll put him back. Oh, what is he doing? I've never actually recorded this. So this is kind of fun for me. So this is my favorite spider, by the way. Because my, my big leopard gecko, the one we fed all the crickets to, that one I got as a mature adult. I, got, I don't know if it was mature or not, but I got that one as an adult. The avicularia avicularia that you'll see in a minute, I got the size that it is currently. Well, it was a little smaller because it's molted once since I've got it. And then other than my new leopard gecko, which is a little baby, I got this, um, this tarantula from when Petco was still doing those tarantula hut things. I got this little guy. So here's a comparison to how big it is now. This is an American nickel. So it's not really, you know, I mean, he's probably about, not stretched out, but like the way they normally walk, about the size of the nickel. When I got this spider, it was the size of my pinky finger, which is like my pinky fingernail. So there's your comparison. And like its legs completely filled up my pinky. It was little, little, little when I got this thing. So it's molted four times, I think. They molt really slow. I've heard that Grandma stole um, the species in the Grandma Stola genus are slow growers, which is cool. I like that because that means it'll live a lot longer. But yeah, that's my favorite spider that I got. Now let's do the the big the big girl Avicularia Avicularia. So here's my Avicularia Avicularia. She's made some webs, and that's really new, recent. Last time I looked in here, last Saturday, she didn't have any webs in there, so. That's actually pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do, oop. So what I'm gonna do is have you guys here, because this is actually the side of the cage. I'm gonna feed in roaches from the top. I'm gonna try to drop them in her web because I don't know if she's actually gonna eat these or not. And I don't want them to fall on the ground. Like the ground in the cage, because I saw the one, as you guys saw, started to burrow in the my other transfer's cage. So let me get some crickets ready and we'll get we're going on this. Okay. Here goes. I'm gonna drop it right here in her web and see what she does. Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. And it was right out of camera for you guys. How awesome is that? Let's see if I do another one. Since they're little. There we go. Ah! But we're not gonna wait. That's gonna be it. I wish we could have fed this little guy. But I think he's just he's still scared and tired from being carried around a little cardboard box and then put into this box and then now he's just trying to get some rest. Speaking of people getting rest, here is Leonardo getting some good rest after eating all them crickets. And he's about to fall asleep. Well, that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. I just wanted to do a little uh, like Thanksgiving Day, but it's actually Sunday after that feast for all my critters. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Look forward to talking again. And I'll see you next time.